The U.S. Secretary of State is going to head to the Middle East later on Thursday on a trip that's expected to include a stop in Israel. Antony Blinken's previous trip to Israel was during a seven-day pause in fighting. Blinken's visit comes at a period of heightened tension in the region following the killing of a senior Hamas figure in Lebanon. We're going to speak to Laura Khan, who's in occupied East Jerusalem. So Antony Blinken making this, uh, this second trip at a time when the region is facing a greater risk of this conflict in Gaza spreading uh, outwards which is precisely, of course, what the U.S. and other foreign governments do not want. Oh, well, absolutely, they don't want it. And they are really here, of course, to calm recent tensions. It's not just Anthony Blinken who will be going to Middle Eastern countries as well as Israel, but also Amos Hodgson. He's a top U.S. diplomat um, to the Biden administration. He has dealt uh, with um, issues between Hezbollah and Israel before, but this comes at a very important time. He is here to calm tensions with Hezbollah after Salah al arori the top um, Hamas official was killed on Lebanese soil with the possibility of provoking a much larger conflict away from Israel. Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, has already said he's fighting a war on seven fronts, and this includes Lebanon, the occupied West Bank, Gaza, among other regional neighbors. So they are here um, to well, in their words, um, to restore some calm. Um, but it also comes as South Africa has a filing against Israel for genocide. More than 22,000 people have been killed in Gaza, and around 7,000 people are missing, possibly buried under the rubble. Laura, we mentioned at the top of the show that uh, the Israeli raids in part of the occupied West Bank have been uh, still going on. Now, you and the teams have been reporting on them for several weeks now, but these ones, these latest ones, seem to be going on for a great many more hours than we've seen in the past. Well, absolutely. In the, uh, one of the specific raids you're referring to is in a refugee camp called Nora Shams. It's just east of the city of Tolkarim in the north. Now, the Israeli forces entered more than 30 hours ago. They brought armored bulldozers. They've been pulling up the streets. They've been destroying infrastructure. They've set up sniper positions on the roof. There has been some armed confrontations happening between the two. There's been a lot of resistance coming from the Palestinians. We do know that many Palestinian men have been taken out of the camp, they've been interrogated on the field, and more than 250 people have been prevented from entering the camp. We also know they've been preventing access um, from ambulances. So we don't yet know how many injuries there are in the camp just through lack of access. Also in Tubas, not far from there, there's been armed confrontations between uh, Israelis and Palestinians after Israeli forces entered the camp many hours ago. At least one Palestinian has been killed. But uh, we've seen raids throughout the occupied West Bank um, in the early hours of the morning. And this is no different um, to every day since October the 7th. Uh, it's almost been a root canal from the north to the south, um, from Janin down to Hebron. Uh, so it is ongoing, certainly in Norah Shams, and we'll keep you updated. Laura, thank you very much indeed. Laura Khan in occupied East Jerusalem.